Example one, calculate the number of moles of hydrogen ions in 25 cubic centimeters of 0 0.2 molar sulfuric acid. So, only this statement here, 0 0.2 molar, Zero point two molar uh, can be expanded as uh, half in cubic centimeters. One thousand cubic centimeters of uh, sulfuric acid contains two moles. So this statement here is the same as zero point two molar. If one thousand cubic centimeters contain two moles. One of the one cubic centimeter of sulfuric acid contain, contains uh, one times two over one thousand moles. Now, if one cubic centimeter contains that, what of the given volume, 25 cubic centimeters? 25 cubic centimeters of sulfuric acid. Contain, let's multiply again, 1 times 2 over 1000 times 25, these are moles. So the answer will be 0 0.005 moles. But the ask for the number of moles of hydrogen ions, so I need to write the equation for the ionization of sulfuric acid. So the equation is uh, sulfuric acid uh, yes, ionizes to give hydrogen ions uh, yes, and then the sulfate ions uh, yes. When you to pass the equation, put here 2. So from the equation, 1 mole of sulfuric acid gives 2 moles of hydrogen ions. Therefore, I say 1 mole of sulfuric acid gives two moles of hydrogen ions. So if one mole of sulfuric acid gives two moles of hydrogen ions, what of the 0 0.005 moles? 0 0.005 moles of sulfuric acid um, give was multiply 2 and 0 0.005 divided by 1. These are moles of hydrogen and so I multiply that I get 0 0.01 moles of hydrogen and simple as that. Example 2. Calculate the number of moles of potassium ions in 35 cubic centimeters of 0 0.12 molar potassium carbonate solution. So we are going to use the same procedures, say, uh, the 0 0.12 molar, and make a statement from there, the statement is 1000 cubic centimeters of Potassium carbonate uh, contains 0.12 moles. From this short statement, 0.12 molar, I can get this statement. If one pattern contains 1.2 molar, what of this 1 cubic centimeters of potassium carbonate contains? First multiply 1 and 4.12 over 1,000 moles. Now, what of the given volume? 35 cubic centimeters. 35 cubic centimeters of potassium carbonate contain, first multiply again, 5 times 1 times 4.12 over 1,000 these are moles. So I'll get 0 0.0042 moles. So we need to get the number of potassium ions. So that means let me pass over the equation. 
have potassium carbonate aqueous giving us potassium ions and the carbonate ions but we are putting here two so one mole of potassium ions gives two moles of potassium ions so one mole of potassium carbonate gives two moles of potassium ions what is the 0.0042 moles 0.0042 moles of potassium carbonate will give uh, what multiply two times 0.0042 over one these are moles of potassium ions so the answer will be multiplied by two 0.0084 Moles of potassium ions. Uh, Couple examples on titration. Determine the molarity of the acids in the following solutions. Part A 16.0 cubic centimeters of 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide neutralized by 20 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid. Solution. So uh, we have two solutions here. We have a standard solution. I told you a standard solution is one whose concentration is known. So you have sodium hydroxide, 16.0 cubic centimeters. Uh, its concentration is 1.5, 1.5 mole. Then you have two hydrochloric acid, uh, so volume is 20. 0 0.0 cubic centimeter and you don't know its concentration. Therefore, we need to find the concentration of that acid. Uh, what you're going to first do, we should first write the equation for the reaction. The reaction equation is uh, sodium hydroxide aqueous reacting with hydrochloric acid aqueous giving Sodium chloride, aqueous, then water. And try to balance, the problem is balancing one sodium, one sodium, chlorine, oxygen, one oxygen, one hydrogen, two, that's set up to hydrogen atoms. Uh, we are going to first find the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that we have to. Then we compare them to the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that we have to. In that case, we shall be able to get the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that reacted at the same time get the molarity of hydrochloric acid so from the first statement 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide is the same as 1000 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide contain 1.2 moles if 1,000.2 moles, so of the 1 cubic centimeter of sodium hydroxide contain cross multiply 1 times 1.2 over 1,000, all of this is in moles. What of the volume, which is 16.0, or 16.0 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide? Contain cross multiply 16.0 times 1 times 1.2 over 1000. The whole of this is moles. The answer here will be 0 0.024 moles. Uh, these are the moles of sodium hydroxide that we have to Now, when you come back to the, to the equation, to get the mole ratio, mole ratio of sodium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid, check on the coefficients. Here you have one, here you have one. Therefore, the mole ratio is one to one. This one simply means that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted is the same number of hydrochloric acid moles that reacted. Therefore, in this case, 
The number of sodium hydroxide uh, moles is 0 0.024, and the number of moles of HCl is 0 0.024. Therefore, uh, if this is 0 0.024, this is also 0 0.024. Now, if this is, these are the moles of hydrochloric acid that we reacted, that means that these moles are contained in this volume that we have, which is 20 cubic centimeters. From there, I can now find the molarity. Because I have the number of moles, which is 0 0.024, I can now get the molarity. So, I can say 20 cubic centimeter of HCl uh, contain 0 0.024 moles. Now, if I want to get the molarity, I have to get the number of moles in 1,000 cubic centimeters. That gives us the molarity. But one cubic centimeter of HCl contains cross multiplied 1 times 0 0.024 divided by 20. These are Moles. From there, I can find out the volume, uh, I mean the number of moles in 1,000 cubic centimeter of HCl contain, what's multiplied again, 1 times 0 0.024 over 20 times 1,000. These are moles. So when I put this one to the calculator, I will get 1.2. But I don't put moles, rather I say this is equal to 1.2 capital M molar, 1.2 molar, because this number of moles are in 1000 cubic centimeters. Simple. We have our second example 25 cubic centimeters of 0.2 molar ammonia solution neutralized by 20 cubic centimeters of nitric acid. I need to find the variety of nitric acid solution. When I summarize, I have ammonia solution, ammonia solution, which is 25 cubic centimeter, 0 0.0 cubic centimeter, that is volume. The concentration is 0 0.2 mole. Then I have nitric acid. Its volume is 20 cubic centimeter. Then concentration is unknown. That's what we are looking for. Therefore, let me also pass on the equation. We have ammonia solution, appears plus nitric acid, appears giving us ammonium nitrate. N plus water. So from there, let me first find the number of moles of ammonia solution that we have achieved. So from this one, I can say 1,000 cubic centimeters of ammonia solution contain 0.2 moles. If 1,000 or 0.2 moles, that would be 1 cubic centimeters of ammonia solution. Contains, for example, 1 times 0.2 divided by 1,000. These are moles. What would be the volume here? The volume is 25. 25 cubic centimeters of ammonia solution contain let's not try again 25 times 1 times 0 0.2 divided by 1 power this is giving us 0 0.005 moles now we need to relate the mole ratios to get the mole ratios of sodium hydroxide to nitric acid because they react together so the more ratio, more ratio of ammonium hydroxide to nitric acid, we have one here, 
how the one here. So the molecule is ammonium solution to nitric acid is one one. Therefore, the same number of ammonia of, of, of ammonia solution we have to do with the same number of nitric acid. This is zero point zero zero five. This is zero point zero zero five. Therefore, have the number of moles in twenty cubic centimeters of nitric acid. Now I need to find the molarity. The molarity is the number of moles in 1,000 cubic centimeters. So, 20 cubic centimeters of nitric acid uh, contain 0 0.005 moles. If 20 contain that, only the 1 cubic centimeter of nitric acid contain Cross multiply 1 times 0 0.005 divided by 20 moles. Now I need to find the moles in 1000 cubic centimeters. Nitric acid contain uh, 1 times 0 0.005 over 20 n times 1000. All of this is moles. So the answer that we are going to have here is going to be 0 0.25 molar. That is the molarity of the acid. Let us look at calculating the density of acids. Have an example here. Calculate the density of an acid HNZ. If 15 cubic centimeters of 0 0.1 molar acid is complete, you ionize by 9 cubic centimeters of 0.5 molar potassium hydroxide. Now what we know here, they are both the solution, both the acid and the base. But we need to find the basis of the acid. And to define the system, the system is the number of hydrogen ions produced by an acid on complete ionization. For example, if you have sulfuric acid uh, producing Hydrogen ions and sulfate ions is aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. So one mole of sulfuric acid is producing two moles of hydrogen ions and one mole of sulfate ions. Therefore, the basis is two. The number of hydrogen ions, therefore, the basis of this acid is two. For nitric acid, nitric acid, aqueous. And giving us hydrogen ions, aqueous, plus nitrate ions, aqueous. One mole of acid is giving us one mole of hydrogen ions, then one mole of nitric acid, then nitrate ions. Therefore, the resistor here is one. Why? Because one, uh, because one hydrogen ion is produced by one mole of the nitric acid. Therefore, the resistor is defined as the number of hydrogen ions produced by one mole of the acid on complete ionization. So the solution here will be solution. You are going to find the moles of the acid, moles of the acid. So what we have here is 4.5 molar, uh, I mean, half centimeters of 0.1 molar acid. Therefore, 1,000 cubic centimeters of H and Z uh, contains contains 0.1 moles. Now, if one other contains this, the one cubic centimeter of the acid contains cross multiply one times 0.1 over 1,000. Moles. So, what of the given volume of 15 cubic centimeters of acid HNZ contain, let's multiply 15 times 1 times 0 0.1 divided by 1000, these are moles. So, what you are going to get here is going to be 0 0.001. So these are the moles 
of, of the acid H and Z. Now we need to get the moles of the base potassium hydroxide. So moles of potassium hydroxide in the same way we have 1000 cubic centimeters of potassium hydroxide uh, containing contain uh, 0 0.5 moles. If 1000 contains 0 0.5 moles, what is the 1 cubic centimeter of potassium hydroxide contain cross multiply 1 times 0 0.5 divided by 1000 these are moles. So therefore I cannot find the number of moles in 9 cubic centimeters. 9 cubic centimeters of potassium hydroxide per day cross multiply 1 times 0.5 over 1000, 10 times 9. These are moles. So we are going to get 0 0.0045 moles of potassium hydroxide. But remember our question was to find the basis of the acid. So, let us first write the reaction equation. Reaction equation. So we have the acid HNZ reacting with potassium hydroxide, uh, giving us potassium. I shall come and take on the Z, Z, but we have an N there. Then plus the main is water, plus water. So balance I put here an N, I also put here an N. Uh, so when you look at uh, the mole ratios, comparing the mole ratios, so mole ratio of the acid to, to base, I have one to N. So I can relate so the mole ratio of the acid to base. So I can write the mole ratio in terms of fluctuations. Mole ratio of the acid uh, to base uh, is equal to 1 to N. So I'm just changing this one into fractions, which is this. So I have H N Z uh, these are the number of moles. So number of moles of moles of acid H N Z over number of moles of this K of H is equal to uh, 1 over N. Number of moles of the acid we got 0 0.0015. Divided by number of moles of the base we got 0 0.0045 is equal to 1 over N. So when I cross multiply, I'll get 0 0.0015 n is equal to 0 0.0045. So I have 0 0.0015 n being equal to 0 0.0045 divided by 0 0.0015 over 0 0.0015. My value of n will be this one cancels, this divided by this I'll get 3. Therefore, the system of the acid is 3.